Now that we know how to create audio files in MATLAB, let's see how we can manipulate sound and audio in MATLAB. So I want to start with clear, close all, and CLC. A function to read audio files is audio read, and I want to give a file name. And here I have music.mp3. I'm not going to say what music it is. It's going to be a surprise. So mp3. And I want to also have information about the audio file. So audio info. And the same file gives me the information about the audio file. And what the most important information I want from it is the sample ratio. Oh, I didn't actually save anything. So music is equal to that and info is equal to this. So info, it's called, well actually it gave out what is what it is, but the sample ratio is 444,100 uh, samples uh, or sample ratio and this is the total number of samples. The duration is 240 point um, this seconds. It's an mp3 file. One thing I want to do is to read a portion of this um, file. So I'm going to call that cut and that is going to be from minute 226 to minute 230 and a half. So cut is equal to music from or actually before I do that let's make it a little bit easier uh, index 1 is equal to 2 times 60 plus 26 and what I want to do is create FS and let me clear this in here first FS is info dot sample ratio and it should work well actually it didn't work let's see info sample rate so fs is going to be created so i can say times fs and index 2 is equal to 2 times 60 plus 30.5 times fs now, music is has two columns and a bunch of rows. So I'm going to say cut is equal to music from index 1 to index 2 and both the columns. And I want to say audio write cut.wave and put it cut and give the same sample ratio. If I do this, see that a uh, wave file is created and I want to increase the volume so that you can hear because I think it's not as loud as I expected. So I'll try to play it and hopefully you can hear what this song is about. Right clicking and Somehow it's not working as best as I want. So it is, you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Now something else I can do with this piece of um, code, with this cut that I have, is I can manipulate that. I can also write audio, right? and say cut two times faster that wave and in order to do that I want to actually write the cut and change the sample ratio so I'm going to say fs times two and end this if I run this 
this is created and I say that if I click on this it should be two times faster <laughs> And I can also make this two times slower by just dividing the sample ratio by two, which means I'm writing uh, less samples in every second. So if I just type this code, or I sh what I did, I, I, had, I had to change the filing first, two times slower. If I run this, Another thing I can do, which is pretty cool, is make this song go backwards. Or let me cut inverse is equal to flip up down because it's basically uh, or left right as two columns. Actually, actually, I should do up down of cut and if I do that inside the um, uh, workspace I have the cut inverse and I can just use the same thing but I want to keep the same sample ratio as before cut inverse now let's do this one and listen to cut inverse well, basically, it didn't. No, it didn't work. Uh, I should have done flip left right, and now it should work. Well, somehow it is not really. Oh, because I'm writing the. Oh, I found out what the problem is. Should be caught inverse. And now it should work because I was given the wrong value. And this is where the song goes backwards. So now you see what we could do with uh, audio files. We could, we could read them um, and extract a portion of it. Basically, audio files are just arrays. I can take it out. I can um, make it two times faster, two times slower, make it inverse. And um, I can also um, do more stuff like add echo and everything else. But this should give you a, a understanding of how to manipulate audio and arrays inside MATLAB.